What's going on guys? So like always, I forgot to make the intro for the video. So I'm actually from the future and that's why I'm wearing the same shirt as in the outro. And it's actually like less than a minute apart from the outro. But today we're going to be going to pick up a new rescue. So I'm not going to be keeping this rescue. I already told the person that was giving it to me that I wasn't going to be the one that kept the, the turtle because I don't really like taking in those, those types of turtles because I don't have a pond set up for them yet. I would prefer to keep them outdoors in a pond if I do keep them in the future. But in reality, that's not really a species that I'm too interested in working with. All right, so I got another rescue and I was gonna put this 40 gallon down there, but there's half an inch of this doesn't fit. I was gonna put it right between there, right? Cause the length is fine if it had touched the back there, but this is just a little too thick and I'm not gonna be moving that around. So, I, was, I could either put a piece of plywood there and put it on top, put another one of these over there and put it on top, or what I'm gonna do is, because I don't feel like doing any of that right now, I gotta set up the animal. I'll put it up there for now. I was gonna put the, the large enclosure there in the future, but it doesn't matter because I probably won't be able to do that during quarantine anyways. And here's Godzilla's filter. It broke the other day for some reason. I think what happened was that too much sand got into it or something. I don't really know. I cleaned it all out and it still doesn't work. So we're gonna get him a new filter. All right, so I wanna start off putting all the decorations in the tank first so that I can see where they're gonna go. I put this log in the middle because I wanna put a deeper part and a more shallow part with the sand. So I put the log in the way so that the sand doesn't fall into the more shallow area. I also put this rock here to help hold the sand up a little bit. And I put this decoration here so that the water wouldn't kick up that much sand. It ended up kicking it up a good amount regardless, but I think it did help a lot. Now to start installing the filter. So this is a really high-tech filter as you can see. I've never used it before and I'm trying to figure it out right now. Um, the guy that gave me it told me to fill it up, plug everything in, make sure everything's open and to set it up. But I think what may have happened is this intake thing might have was a little bit lifted up like that. And I don't know if it was sucking it up, but all the water that I put in there just got taken out. And while that cycles, we just reached 34,800 followers on Instagram. It's kind of funny, every time that I'm recording, it always reaches one of the 800s. Um, yeah, so that's pretty good. If you guys aren't following Shadows Reptiles on Instagram, make sure you do that. Sorry for the mess right now, I've been getting a lot of rescues and I gotta reorganize everything. I got the new turtles, so I've been cleaning up, taking out the old tank and all that. But yeah, the reason why this isn't going off anymore is because I changed the time for it to update every five minutes instead of every time that I get a follower because it was making too much background noises in all my videos, so I don't want that happening. All 
All right, so what I'm trying to do now is drill some holes in the back so that I could put all the tubing through the holes and make it look a lot nicer than having the filter right next to the tank and all these cables going all over the place. And now I could put the filter in the bottom instead of right next to the enclosure. So there we go, the water is crystal clear and you can see the turtle in there and I even threw some fish in there. Have a ton more uh, more fish, they're all in the, under the water though. So you can't really see them, they're back there behind the filter. And let me feed this guy real quick. Here we go. This guy loves to eat crickets. I've been trying to feed him these pellets and he hasn't wanted them but the crickets he takes down pretty good. I think he may have been eating some of the fish as well. And this is a yellow belly slider. And I'm not going to be keeping him though. He is a rescue. But I'm not going to be the one that keeps him. I told the owner. Uh, when I say that I'm going to keep a rescue. I usually keep him unless something happens. And I can't take care of it anymore. Which so far it's never happened. Um, but this guy. He wanted to rehome his turtle. And I told him I don't usually take in yellow belly sliders. Because they're so common. I get like sometimes like four or five of them of emails of just yellow belly sliders every couple months so obviously i'd be overrun if i took them in also the green iguanas are very common to rehome here so i don't take them in or red eared sliders either so um this one was different the guy messaged me through my website because i have a forum on my website and he said he was looking for a home for it and he posted it and i asked i told him to share his like uh his city and state so that people that are in the area could look for it. And he said that he was in Miami. So I said, oh, I could take him in, but I'm not gonna be the one that keeps him long-term because I don't, I don't like keeping these guys, especially indoors in a small tank. If I had a big pond, then I wouldn't mind keeping a bunch of these guys, but I don't like keeping them in small aquariums like this, uh, especially the bigger ones. So I'm gonna be rehoming him to a friend of mine that has a pond and uh, that'll probably be, I'm not gonna record that uh, because I'm not gonna be posting my friend's house and all that, but uh, he'll probably just be here for this video and my tortoise feeding video, which I already uploaded. So yeah, he's gonna be going to his new home real soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed me setting everything up. I really do like this turtle cause he's really curious. He's always watching me and he always pokes his head out and looks at me and stuff. It's really cool, um, but definitely don't want to be keeping him in here in a small enclosure so i also got to get this fixed because the hose wasn't long enough uh the way that i set it up was that i put the filter down here and ran the pipes through the back uh the hose wasn't long enough so it makes too much noise for my videos so i'm gonna have to stack like rocks or something to make a waterfall or something like that so that the water isn't as doesn't have as much pressure and it doesn't sound so loud so look at that water it looks amazing and uh, today I'm going to be rehoming this guy. Uh, I know we got him in the same video and we're going to be rehoming him in the same video. But like I mentioned earlier, uh, I want to make sure this guy gets a bigger enclosure where he could have more space to free roam. And my buddy has a pond, so we're going to take him over there and he'll be able to enjoy that much more than this little enclosure that he's in. Uh, don't get me wrong, the enclosure is a good size for him. I do have too much stuff in here. Like if I 
had just that and then the basking spot over which is right here uh the enclosure would be perfect for a tortoise or a turtle this size but i i do want to get him into a pond so that he could enjoy that a little bit better all right so there we go i fixed the water as you can see nice little trickle it's not super loud and there is a strong current coming out in the bottom of that pvc and all the little fish are here the water's murky again because obviously i was moving stuff around so the sand got kicked up and by the way, if you're watching this, Tom, thank you for everything. And I assure you the turtle is a really good home now. I found them the best home that I possibly could. And it's actually another rescue that takes in tortoises. And uh, he has a few turtles as well. Not as many turtle turtles as tortoises. But he's kind of a small rescue. Not really like as big as me that I take in all types of animals. But he just takes in a couple tortoises and turtles every once in a while. So yeah, he's doing great. And the enclosure is going to be used for another turtle that's going to need it in the future so thank you for everything but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed me setting up the turtle aquarium and me rehoming the turtle i didn't put any other video the turtle's already in his new home and it's going to be much better for him over there he's going to have a bigger enclosure that he can free roam come out and enjoy the nice florida weather so i hope you guys enjoyed if you didn't leave some suggestions in the comment section if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications. Have a great day.